Good morning and welcome to the 66 update for Saturday the 12th of November. It's a uh, bright autumn morning here in Nottingham. Um, sun's out, it's not actually raining which makes a nice change. Um, so it looks like it's going to be a good day. Um, today I'm continuing working on the Rebel Flesh cover. Um, I spent pretty much all of yesterday working on it and uh, uh, this is the work in progress so far. Um, Rebel Flesh has um, sort of key elements to the setting. Um, the idea that um, all religions, and I mean all religions, have in them a, uh, a code um, which can be used to drive magic, but also holds secrets of the um, aliens who... Um, created and manipulate and experiment on um, humans, the dark forces, the sort of the um, what you might consider the sort of a Cthulhu mythos type um, aliens um, beyond the reckoning of men. Um, and as part of that sort of um, secret knowledge um, religions hold is this idea of maths magic that um, simple maths in certain ways has a lot of power. Um, so in putting the cover together I'm sort of trying to pull together the elements of that so in the background we have various religious symbols we have the um, um, mathematical symbols um, highlighted. Um, this figure here, the Wounded Man, um, very um, famous figure um, in terms of sort of um, historical books. It was a, a diagram from the first um, Western medical textbook from about the 14th, 15th century. Um, and you can see here all sorts of lots and lots of injuries, which nicely capsulates um, verbal fleshes mechanics about uh, violence and gore and um, harm and scarring. Um, but um, it doesn't really fit in the cover, so I'm going to drop that out. Uh, replace it with something else, probably something more mathematical. Uh, I'm going to highlight um, the uh, mathematical symbols more, bring those more up. Um, I also need to do something about the um, the heading here, the, the actual title of the piece. Um, it's not really properly integrated in the image. I need to sort of find a better font and sort of better colour scheme to go with it. Um, so that's what I'm going to be working on today, just generally bringing these up to the um, to something more cohesive and something I'm, I'm happy with to um, front Ben's excellent uh, um, setting. So um, you can see the work in progress online if you go and look at our Facebook's Twitter or G Plus accounts and I'll be posting um, towards the end of the day a, uh, a, the latest version so you can have a look out for that. So that's going to keep me busy. It's probably going to keep me busy a bit of tomorrow and maybe Monday as well. Um, so over my weekend. Um, but um, And hopefully all finished in time for Tuesday so I can start some new projects. So until then, have a good day, have a good weekend and I'll speak to you soon.